Hi, I'm Dr. Claire Spencer. I'm a menopause specialist and co-founder of My Menopause Centre. Sleep is a big issue in the menopause. According to a recent British Menopause Society survey, around 60% of women have issues with sleep as they go through the menopause transition. And there are many reasons for this. Hot flushes and night sweats are an obvious one, but also some women are kept awake with um, joint aches and pains, and some have to get up and go to the loo a few times in the night, and it can be really difficult to get back to sleep. Some people stay awake because of anxiety and low mood that comes in the menopause. And then obviously there's stress, and when unhelpful thoughts are whizzing round your head, um, it can keep you awake and sometimes you can get into a bit of a vicious cycle where you're feeling a bit more anxious and you're finding it difficult to sleep, you're finding that you're waking up in the night and the anxiety about the sleep then keeps you awake um, and a lot of women tell me that this is happening to them. In terms of what to do about it, um, I've got quite a few top tips. Not everything will help everybody, but it's worth just having a think through the different ideas and see what works for you. First of all, think about what you're doing when you go to bed. You want to set up a routine that's as relaxing as possible for a period of time before you actually get into bed. This is called practicing good sleep hygiene and it may be taking a bath or reading a book or um, meditating, using any of the sleep apps, there are quite a few available. Um, whatever works for you, just to switch off, I would advise you to do it. The second thing is just think about your bedroom and make sure that it's as relaxing an environment as possible and geared up for a good night's sleep. So I know it sounds obvious, but make sure it's dark, make sure it's cool, particularly if you're getting night sweats. Um, make sure that you haven't got a screen by your bed, which can be really tempting to switch on um, in the night particularly. Um, that can be quite stimulating and make it more difficult to go back to sleep. And another top tip would be if you do wake up in the night, don't lie there awake stewing for more than about 20 minutes. It's probably better to get up, make a hot drink, but not caffeinated, um, and then go back to bed after a bit of a break. In terms of diet, then definitely avoiding caffeine, particularly after midday can be helpful. Caffeine is a stimulant. Many, many women tell me that they self-medicate with alcohol to try and get to sleep. Um, but actually, alcohol's a bit of a nightmare. It means that you get a worse night's sleep. Um, it's a poorer quality sleep, so you're more likely to wake up in the night and you're more likely to wake up the next day not feeling rested. If it's suitable for you, HRT can be helpful. It can be helpful because it helps treat the physical symptoms that may be keeping you awake. And also the hormones themselves for some women help sleep. Hormones and sleep are slightly complicated. Um, poor sleep isn't always directly related to the hormones itself. But HRT is definitely worth a try. Doesn't work for everybody, but it can be super helpful. These are just a few top tips. If you look at our website, mymenopausecenter.com, you'll find a whole section on sleep. There's loads of other free information available for everybody on all the symptoms of menopause. And we've got a questionnaire with a symptom tracker so you can keep an eye on what you're doing and what your symptoms are like as you transition through the menopause.